Darren Bombing and Nick Kowalski here on the field at Tim Hortons Field ahead of the 108th Grey Cup. These two teams know each other well. They obviously met in the 107th Grey Cup two years ago. But here we are. It's December 12th. The weather is unbelievable even for Southern Ontario for this time of year. And this game will bring a lot of interesting storylines. I asked head coach Michael Shea just about 10 minutes ago, Nick, of how different or similar today feels to the Blue Bombers uh, room back in 2019. And, you know, typical Michael Shea wouldn't lend too much on that. But the reality is it's as familiar as it is unfamiliar for a lot of different things. But there is one key factor in this game that will no doubt have an effect on the mood inside this building. Yep. The one thing that's different here is the setting. And we're looking around here. There is a lot of black and gold from what I'm seeing. And we talked to uh, people around Hamilton throughout the week, locals here. They were, the general consensus was that there's going to be about 70% uh, fans here wearing their black and gold jerseys supporting the home team. I think that's about an accurate number right now. And you got about 15% Winnipeg and the rest. It's going to be Skittles. It's going to be your blue Toronto Argos jersey, your green Saskatchewan Riders jersey. Um, and where this is factored in is on the betting line. So. Winnipeg opened up as a four and a half point favorite and typically for those who don't know the home team in the game which Hamilton is the home team here they usually get about two and a half three points um, advantage on the spread just baked in for being at home um, so that implies that Winnipeg is really about a touchdown favorite but now it's dropped to about minus one before a kickoff so the Bombers are the slight favorite it's pretty much a pick em tonight yeah it's going to be interesting to see because We've seen a lot of Grey Cup upsets in recent years, Nick, right? 2019, the Blue Bombers upsetting the Cats In 2017 and 2016, the Calgary Stampeders being upset in the championship game by, um, you know, teams that came in. Not a lot of people giving them a chance against Bo Levi Mitchell and the Stampeders. So when it comes to the Canadian Football League, any given Friday night, tonight, any given Sunday, we'll see what happens on the field. Be sure to keep it locked to Bonfire Sports. We have absolutely top to bottom post-game coverage here on bonfiresports.ca.